Welcome to our next tutorial of Mesh Surface for SolidWorks. Let's import a mesh. In this time, I will just get a freeform mesh that has been scanned, and this is a shoe sole. As we know, there is not much you can do with this in SolidWorks, so the main idea is just to convert this to um, surfaces or solid that will appear in the um, SolidWorks, and that it will be something that SolidWorks will understand. For this we have the automatic surface button. Just select the mesh that you want to work on and press the automatic surface. There are just a few parameters here that you need to adjust. The first thing is uh, the feature details. How detailed this is at this moment. It's just a normal one and I leave it as balanced. You have four options. Something that it's not too many features and in this case it's balanced. The next thing we need to do is just to define how many quads will form the um, automatic surfacing. It doesn't mean the final result, it's just how this will approximate the underlying mesh. And the last parameter that you need to set is if the object has a symmetry on the um, standard uh, planes, then you can use this option. Also, I would like to say that using the mesh selection tools, you can select regions of interest in more complex part, and you can just apply the automatic surfaces only on the selection. In this case, because there is nothing selected, this option is disabled and you cannot use it. And this is actually all you need to know about the auto surface. You just press preview to see what uh, the result it will look like. It takes a while on different objects because the algorithm analyzes the underlying surface. I would like to say that uh, all the meshes, they must be closed to be manifold, not to have holes in order to get a good result. But every object is different and you can play with uh, the objects by adjusting the parameters here. So after the, so the algorithm completes, you, we will see a preview of what our surface look like in terms of uh, surfaces that will be uh, created in SOLIDWORKS. The algorithm is ready and you can see our result. At this moment, this is not uh, ready to use in SOLIDWORKS until we just press OK, but you can see the preview of the result how you can control if you're happy with your results you can use our building analyzer you just select the deviation option and you can set your tolerance to what your expectations are if you're not happy with the results you can increase the number of uh, quotes and then you can press preview this happens until you are satisfied with your results again auto surfacing is applied it takes a while uh, it doesn't need to be um, a super powerful computer. It works on the um, standard laptop or PC. And this example is just an um, i7 um, processor. It doesn't take a long time. It just takes um, some smart algorithms how this uh, should be applied. So I see my result and if I'm happy I can just turn off my deviation and I can press OK. In this moment the software automatically creates this as a body which is understandable by SOLIDWORKS. As you see it appears as a solid body in the tree. I will just hide our mesh for now because I don't need it and to demonstrate that this is a valid um, body I will just use my section tool of SOLIDWORKS building command and you can see that it's actually a solid body. So let's uh, bring in another example. Like I will just create a new part. It's um, like an uh, empty one and I will bring another organic shape like this one. I would like to say that um, automatic surfacing is a great it's one of the best at the moment on the market, and uh, but it's not a magic. You need to think when you apply this on a um, surface. It's, it's quite powerful if you use uh, organic shapes like this one. I will now actually will play with the highest level of details to get more the details around the 
I. The thing is that the more you apply, uh, the closer you want to get to the surface, the more features you can get. In this case, I probably want to go to my fine details, and I can give here a custom number of 10,000, for example. I increase the number of uh, quotes so the algorithm can, can get as close as possible to the underlying surface. Again, there is no action from your side. You just press and you wait until the result is ready. As you can see now on the screen, we got much better approximation of the surface. You can press OK. And in this example, you see that because the surface was open, the SOLIDWORKS actually will create this as a surface body instead of the solid body. That was all about automatic surfacing. You need to play with a different object to get a different results. But we transfer them into a big surfaces here that will become faces. So this means that we reduce the number of surfaces that are in SOLIDWORKS. And this uh, helps SOLIDWORKS to handle the object in a much easier way. You can apply a Boolean operation, you can cut this from a um, mold, for example, and you can use it in your project. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.